So what I'm going to do today is show uh, taking control of a robot and controlling it uh, remotely through SMS text messaging. So what I have is a chat window open on the computer and I'm going to type commands into the computer and it's going to text those commands through the phone, the cell phone network. Uh, and Anna is going to pick that up and she's basically listening to all the texts. I've already uh, logged on and authenticated. Um, and I, I did this first just for passwords uh, privacy. And but now that I'm logged in, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I can do. So uh, I'll go ahead and type some commands. I'll first ask her how she's doing. So I said, Anna, how are you feeling? Is the text message. And depending on how long the delay is. I am feeling a tiny bit bored. And there she's feeling bored. Now, there wouldn't be that extra noise if I told the phone not to uh, make the noise every time it received a text. Uh, but you would hear her respond. Now, I can also log in in a stealth mode, uh, and this is for, like a security thing if you're away from the house and you want to uh, look around and check on things without making a lot of noise, uh, then you can use that. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll ask her to scan the room. So I just sent that text. And she's just waiting. Scanning. Oh, and now she's gotten it. Target acquired. And so she found uh, this pink object is interesting to her. Um, and notice I've got some some words there. I'm going to hold up that. I'll also see her um, do a little bit of uh, landmark recognition via the, uh, the words held up. Data. So she recognized those words as well while she's also tracking these suspicious pink objects. Um, now, now that she's looking at that, uh, we might want her to send her a picture, or send us a picture. So I'm going to ask her to send us a picture. I'm going to hold the camera and type with one hand. Um, so I'm asking her to send us a picture. And it's probably going to get a picture of me holding the uh, tablet. Sending picture. And so what she's done is she's taken a picture and she's uploaded it through a web service uh, to the computer that's sitting down here, and um, as well as texted uh, a link so, because I, you know, if I'm not home, I want to see that picture, but I also want it as part of the record. And so now I can click on that, and you see there's the image of me holding the camera as she's tracking the pink tar target behind my hand. And um, and so if we were uh, away and wanted to take pictures of the cats, uh, look to see if anybody had stolen anything, or if we had a coffee maker still on, then we could do that. Um, now I'll show uh, her scanning and firing the laser, and I also have it um, a gun camera with the laser that's synchronized with the laser, and so it'll take pictures of the shots, upload them, and text us the results, uh, you know, wherever we are, and save it on the server. So let me type that command. So I'm asking her to scan and fire. Now I could have uh, also issued any of these commands through voice, but if I'm away, then this might be my only way to do it, um, unless I have a predefined mission. And so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to back up and close my eyes because she's about to go crazy with the lasers.
And so what we got was a text message results, and the text message has embedded links to the images. And so I'm going to click on the image, and what you can see there is uh, she's using OpenCV contours um, to find those pink targets. And, uh, and so it's showing us then each of those targets that she was firing on. Um, you can see the laser actually on that one. So she nailed that one right there. It's uh, much easier and much more brilliant to see uh, in a dark room with the, on the camera when I'm photographing the lasers. But I wanted you guys to see everything else that was going on. And so now that's her picking out. Oh, OK, so she's trying to fire, it looks like, at me. and. Uh, and hit me with two of the lasers. Um, and then there's also the target on the wall uh, above me that um, it looks like she took some interest in. And so this is, here she's got a number of targets all in one view, and you can see her having to do some work to uh, distinguish them. And uh, it looks like she still found me to be the most juicy target, and so she put another laser beam on me. Um, she's got uh, dedupe and filtering mechanisms after she scans for targets to assess uh, what's worth firing at and what might be too small or what might be the same as another one that she's already found. And so, um, and this is nice, we can, uh, we get this text feedback of everything that's going on and picture documentation. The next time we open that uh, chat session, it would actually embed all the pictures in the chat. Um, that's just a uh, deficiency of the chat client that it's not showing those pictures. Um, so thank you very much. That's all.